Hi Wanderers, I'm Topher, this is Chris, and uh, we're here today to discuss our ports and excursions for our Southern Caribbean cruise on the Norwegian Dawn. Uh, so I'll let Chris go ahead and start off with our first uh, port of Tampa. All right, Tampa. Uh, first, I want to preface it. Tampa is a beautiful city. Uh, back in 1996, I overcame my fear of roller coasters in Tampa. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there. So anybody who lives in Tampa doesn't get hurt by what we're going to say next. Uh, the port of Tampa is terrible. Our experience with the port was just awful. Yeah, very little direction. Uh, no, basically no direction of where do you queue. Uh, by the way, don't get there early. Uh, don't bother getting a really early check-in time. Check-in times? What's that? Check-in times? What's <laughs> that? Um, you know, you're all going to end up standing in the same line anyway. So, um, I really wouldn't recommend getting there too early. There's, you know, they're doing. I think they're doing a lot of revitalization down in right. the port area right now. So there's just not a lot to do, um, especially at 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, when we got to the port because our, that's when our flight got in was 6.30. So uh, we were there a little too early. but Yeah, a little too early, but we didn't have any control over that. But yeah, the lack of instruction of line up here. If you're going to check in, uh, uh, check your luggage, put it over here or stand over here. We were there for quite a while before somebody finally said, yeah, no, here's where the porters will be for us to stand. So we were standing there not knowing not anything. Doing anything. Yeah. 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 Uh, I will say there's some stuff, there's some cool stuff down there. There's basically three different ports. Um, I think Royal Caribbean has its own port in Tampa. Yeah, I think so. they have the uh, first two. So it's, uh, that area is, there's a lot much, there's a lot more to do in that area. I saw, I saw more shops and coffee and, and stuff like that. Um, the port that we were at is right next to the aquarium, which would be cool if you were there during a time when the aquarium was open. Um, but unfortunately, that for us, that wasn't the case. Yeah, and about a block and around the corner, uh, we didn't see it until we were actually on the ship at our oh, balcony. Yeah. There was an area that had uh, coffee shops, and, and we were wondering where our Starbucks was because we were seeing people holding <laughs> Starbucks cups. But from what we were able to see, with well, we were standing with our luggage. Yeah, we couldn't see anything. But when we got on the ship, there is stuff there. So if you're at Terminal 3, it's around the corner and behind the terminal. So go find it because it'll probably make your, it's your a, experience much more enjoyable. Yeah, it's a cool, yeah. it's a cool looking place. Yep. All right. So then next up is Key West. Key West. We were supposed to do a snorkel and catamaran excursion. Unfortunately, due to high winds, they canceled that for safety reasons. Um, so then we ended up just wandering around Key West. Yep. Very, very beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, great port. Everything is accessible by foot. You really don't have to plan for doing anything. You can just go and walk and go shopping and um, and just you know grab something to eat. And is that where the original so? Margarita Bar or Margaritaville? The Margaritaville restaurant. restaurant. Yes. yes, that's where we ate. Actually, uh, I recommend the watermelon drink. It's fabulous. Oh yeah, that was really uh, good. It was, that was really good. Really good. Yeah. And the food was surprisingly good for for a chain restaurant. I was like, "Wow, this yeah. is actually pretty pretty good stuff." Yeah. And then, uh, as you head back to the ship, there is a place called Flying Monkeys, and they serve alcoholic slushies. Yes, to they go. Are, they are so good. Yes, you can just take them and walk around and finish your shopping and and whatever else you're doing. There's also we didn't go, but there's a really cool part where a uh, point where you can go to the southernmost part of the U.S., which is 90 miles from Cuba. Um, and you can actually, there's a big thing there and you can take a, take your picture and stuff with it. We didn't get down there, but, um, but when we get back, we'll, when we get back, we'll yeah. probably go do that. Um, the, uh, the one thing that is very interesting about QS is even without schools and stuff, it has a very college kind of beach town kind of feel to it. You can just kind of feel that energy. There's a lot of live musicians. We were there on a Sunday. Yeah. So there was it was, you know, kind of rip roaring and stuff like that. Maybe if you're there during the middle of the week, it might be a little bit quieter. But yeah, it oh, seemed it was even early in the morning on a Sunday. It was, which even was early kind in the of morning. surprising. It was crazy. The bars were packed, the restaurants were packed, there was live music everywhere. Um so fun fun port. Yeah. Uh, fun port. Really don't need to book anything if you don't want to. Um it, it's it's super easy just to get around and there's there's lots of little touristy things that they have set up for you to do. There's a little train tram that uh, will actually take you around the city and, and show you sites and stuff like that and it's not very expensive yep. so very walkable extremely walkable watch the curbs though the curbs are high we saw quite a few people not pay attention and kind of <laughs> go off the curb yeah. yeah curbs are a little high 
But yeah. uh, you know, great port, great city. Love it. Would definitely recommend it. Um, you know, at least once. Uh, yeah. Might might stay there for a little bit. Yeah. On, on, a, on a land vacation at some point. Might go back and just hang out in Key West yeah. for a while. All right, moving on. So our next stop then was uh, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. Oh, my favorite port by far. Yeah. Favorite yeah. port by far. So we actually had an excursion. I'll let, I'll let uh, Chris talk more about that. But I wanted to talk about the port. So if you don't want to plan an excursion at Puerto Plata, or technically where we landed was Amber Cove, uh, you don't need to. Uh, there is tons of shopping. There is a, a pool. There are bars. There are restaurants. You can. There's water slides. There's zip lining. There's a Rentals. ton of stuff to do uh, right there. It's gorgeous. You can rent a private cabana. They have giant hammocks. You can you can go lay on. They have huge oversized chairs, which we both took our picture on the oversized chair. Uh, just just a really nice, very well kept, clean. Um, Comfortable place, by the way, the pool is free. Um, but there's plenty of lounge chairs. There's a whole kids play area, um, which is separate from the main pool. It's just a phenomenal port, especially if you just want to get off the ship and just go sit by a pool and have drinks again for the day. It can get packed if there are more than one ship uh, in port. Uh, there were, were two when we were there. It was us and then uh, a carnival ship. Uh, it did look overly packed at that point, but I can imagine if another ship had come in, it would start feeling very, very packed. Yeah, uh, another thing is in the shopping area on the shopping side of the Amber Cove, if you geek out about getting your passport stamp, there is a place where you can get your passport stamped for free. Very it, cool. Yeah, they don't stamp it actually in where you countries you've actually visited. There's a, they do it like on the front page and it's just a little stamp that, that says you were here and then they write the date on it for you. It's very cool. It's free. Um, it's just something fun to take home with you. That's, uh, it's an informational kiosk too. So if there's other things that you might want to uh, check out while you're in Dominican Republic, you can get the pamphlets for that and stuff. Yeah. So uh, as for the excursion, the excursion was incredible. It's my favorite <laughs> excursion. Uh, it was the Damayagua waterfall and zip lining. Um, it's a 45 minute hike to get up to the zip lines. So if you have mobility issues, this might not be the excursion for you because even for us, there were some parts of that hike that were quite strenuous. It's, yeah, it wasn't as bad as some we've been on, but it wasn't. Right. It also wasn't the easiest one we've ever done. Most of it is flat surfaces. Usually when you're climbing up, it's usually stairs. Um, so if you're not fond of stairs, probably not the, the place for you to be. Um, but really, I, I would say moderately strenuous. Um, you know, if you're if you're in decent shape and you don't mind walking a distance, then you won't have you shouldn't have any problem. It's not like some of the trails in like in Yosemite or some other you know <laughs> right. crazy place where you're actually climbing up a huge mountain. It's it's a lot more level than that. So. Yeah, and so then you get to the zip lines, and there are uh, five different platforms. And the section, the different platforms are separated by either uh, rope bridges or uh, wooden walkways. Uh, but great time, very fun. Uh, after so much fun. That was our first time zip lining yeah. ever. It was, yeah, it was, it was really a great time. We had a lot of fun. You can also check out our other videos on that and actually see the zip lines. It's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, check out the excursions playlist if, you, if you're interested in any. We got some footage on some of these, so. Uh, then after the zip lining, then you get to the falls part of the excursion. And the first part is a, you can either do a 12 foot drop down into the water, or you can take the stairs to go down. Now, uh, from what I understand, there are some cruise lines that don't allow their guests to do the jump down. I think Carnival is one of those cruise lines. So if you're gonna look at this excursion, you might wanna Check out the information first. Check with your cruise line to find out if they're going to allow you to do it because it would be a real bummer to get there and you'd have to walk down these stairs and then just kind of plop into the water as opposed to plummeting into the water. Unless, of course, plummeting is not for you. Right. Um, then you might, might not matter, but... I was nervous. I was... It, the, jumps, <laughs> the jumps are cool. And it's plenty deep below you, so... Yeah. Um, although I did hit bottom on that first one. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's 15 feet deep, so you've got plenty, you got plenty of room to yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. So then after that, after the, uh, you get into the water, you walk around uh, into like this, it's like a canyon, right? A canyon. Uh, yeah. canyon uh, covered uh, stone is on your, uh, each side of you. Little waterfalls going down and you just 
keep walking around and then there's a, uh, some parts where you can uh, hit a natural water slide, rock water slide area. And then you get to a second platform, which you can jump from, or you can take the natural water slide, but I think there's also stairs for that one too, just yep. in case. Yeah. Uh, but that one is actually 17 feet to the water. So that was a lot of fun. So then uh, after the 17 foot plunge, um, continue on with uh, in the canyon area. Uh, and then come to your final slide, which is pretty cool little slide there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You go, oh, uh, was it five waterfalls? Mm -hmm. Seven waterfalls. It was seven waterfalls because five zip lines and seven waterfalls okay. uh, that we did. Uh, great, great fun. Highly recommend the excursion. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Dama Yagua Falls and the zip line. Yeah. Definitely. All right, moving on. Uh, next stop is St. Thomas. Uh, we actually ported in Charlotte Amelie. Um, beautiful port. Beautiful port. Not a lot to do, though. Right. Yeah, not, not too much to do. The shopping that's there is kind of high scale, wouldn't you say? On, on one side and then kind of on the lower end. With the, 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 the shopping area that didn't have a lot of the shops in it, they were mostly like the high scale, like sunglass shops and, and right. things like that. Right. And then if you go across the street on the other side, uh, that's where you can find the more like local touristy kind of shops and stuff like that. So, but not a whole lot there. Uh, what we did uh, in, in uh, St. Thomas was a catamaran and snorkel. Uh, fun, a lot of fun. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, fish that we saw. Uh, we did yeah. see some sea turtles. That was really cool. Sea turtles were cool. Yeah. Yep. And, the, uh, and then the sunken ship yeah. uh, was the second stop on, on the, the snorkel. So yeah, a lot of fun. Um, water was uh, a little bit cooler than, than I, we've experienced in some, other, in some other places. That probably was just because of the weather and time of year. Right. Uh, but still not, not to the point where you couldn't enjoy, enjoy the time. Uh, the, uh, the crew that took us on the catamaran, they were wonderful. They were hysterical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Had a great time. Uh, very enjoyable. Yeah, I really liked the, the second ship part of the snorkel because there were scuba divers there. Oh, yeah. So it was really cool actually being going over the scuba divers and their bubbles coming up and everything. Check the excursions videos because we, we do have footage of that as well. So right. uh, you can check out that footage and, uh, and see what that's all about. Too. Yeah. Then also in port, uh, across the way from the shopping area, uh, there is a um, teleferico that goes up. Uh, what do, are those gondolas? What? I don't know exactly what yeah. they're called. But it's a sky lift kind of a thing. Uh, you can go up there. They actually have at the at the top is the uh, there's a restaurant and a bar and some pretty amazing views. We didn't actually go, but everybody who went told us about it and said it is the place to go, especially if you want to get some really great island shots. Um, so another option that you can do, and that is definitely walkable from yeah. uh, from port. So yeah. So the next up was Orangestad Aruba. Aruba. In Aruba, we went to De Palm Island. You can find that footage on the excursions uh, playlist. The Palm Island was was pretty nice. You know, it's kind of it's it's a uh, all inclusive resort light experience yeah there i mean there's definitely more than ample lounge chairs um refreshment remember did they have the water slide on that one too yeah yep water slides on that one um the food is all inclusive the drinks are all inclusive uh they have a banana boat uh that you can get tugged around behind and hopefully not fall off of a lot of people fell off, of people <laughs> fell off falling group. off yeah um uh, again Carnival may not allow you. I remember seeing a sign that Carnival guests are not allowed to do the banana boat. Yeah. So check. if you're going to do this excursion, check with your cruise line before you book it. Um, there's a, a snorkeling area which we had planned to take advantage of, but the water was just way too rough. Um, so we were just like, um, that's going to be too much work. Yeah, uh, That's not going to be enjoyable. It's going to be a lot more work. So really, we just kind of went and hung out on the beach uh, all day. It was really... Uh, relaxing and fun and and the, all of their little beach areas are kind of coved off by rocks so you don't get any of the rough seas coming in it's all pretty nice although i will say they're rocky not small rocks big rocks rocky so i think it's to kind of keep everything in place and not to have the the sand erode away from the beach 
Um, so just FYI, uh, it's easier to swim over the rocks rather than walk over the rocks yes. while you're there. Yes. Um, but really a nice little island. Um, very, again, very clean, um, very well kept. Um, a lot of different stuff to do. The food is, you know, it was burgers. It's burgers and hot dogs and that's included. Or there's another uh, restaurant that looked like it had a little bit more. Right. We didn't eat there. We just wanted to grab a burger while we were there. I think we spent about, what, five hours on the island? So. Yeah. Well, we weren't there for too long, but uh, really kind of a nice afternoon. Um, beautiful weather. You know, the weather was sunny and it was warm and um, great to cool off in the ocean. And actually, I think we probably saw more fish there than we did in, on the snorkeling excursion. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there, I'm sure there are, in their snorkeling area, there's probably a lot more fish. Oh, that's also where we saw the iguanas. Yep, we saw iguanas. Big, Full size iguana, big iguanas. Yeah, like about, what, about three and a half, four feet? Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Um, so yeah, iguanas everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And also our, the introduction to Dushi. Yeah, Dushi. Dushi. Yes, that's a, <laughs> very popular in the, I'm going to assume the ABCs. I don't know. We haven't done the Bonaire, but Aruba and Curacao. But yeah. Dushi was a big thing. Dushi means good. Yeah. Contrary to what we know Dushi to be, Dushi is good. <laughs> you, you want to be Dushi in, 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 uh, in Aruba and Curacao. <laughs> so then after we did the excursion and we returned to port, uh, we decided to walk around a little bit, uh, look for magnets, uh, souvenirs for our coworkers and dog sitter. And us, because we collect those. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there is there is some uh, shopping to be done there. Uh, right off the ship, there's a uh, shopping area. You can uh, walk up a little bit further, and there's more shopping. And there's like a little um, strip mall-y type. Not really a strip mall, but it, it's, it's a nicer version of a strip mall. Uh, and that's where you can find five o'clock somewhere. It's five a it's a somewhere. bar and restaurant. It looked pretty cool. We didn't eat there, but we saw it. We saw it again in uh, Curacao. Um, yeah. So there's there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do right off the ship from there. Uh, there's a casino across the street. There's shops that I don't know why anybody would buy you know, Gucci or Dior. <laughs> a lot of jewelry stores. Yeah, a lot of jewelry stores. Um, but yeah, the five o'clock summer bar is really cool. And then we also saw that in Curacao, which by the way, is our next stop. Uh, so, uh, Williamstead, Curacao. Okay. Probably one of the most colorful ports yes. I have ever seen. Yes. Uh, both Aruba and both, uh, ports in Aruba and Curacao are Dutch owned. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, part of the ABCs. um, so the architecture, very unique, the colors, a lot of bright pastel -y colors for their buildings. Um, really pretty. Uh, just really, really pretty port and completely walkable. Yes, completely absolutely walkable. Absolutely completely walkable. You can walk right into right into town. Tons of shopping, tons of food, tons of architecture, statues. I mean, a lot of really cool stuff. Tell them about the bridge. Oh, and then to actually, when you when you first get you, when you're heading in, you get to the little like. It used to be a fort and they kind of turned it into a little shopping zone. And then beyond that, you have to cross this bridge to actually go into the rest of the uh, part of the city. And the bridge is actually built on like pontoon boats. So it's constantly moving. Uh, but the cool thing about this bridge, and unfortunately it didn't happen when we were there, but if a ship is actually coming through, the bridge actually turns and then it sits sideways. So you're actually sitting out in the middle of the channel. And then it moves back so that you can continue your journey and actually get off the bridge and get back onto the mainland. Didn't happen while we were there, but a little cool note in case you're on the bridge and all of a sudden it starts turning. <laughs> Don't worry, it yeah. will go back. Uh, unfortunately, Curacao is our disappointing uh, port for excursions. Uh, we actually not due not due to the excursion itself, just due to probably what we we've already experienced in other places. So it just wasn't as Fantastic. So while we were in Curacao, we did the Hato Caves and a beach experience. The Hato Caves, eh. Being from California, we have caverns up here in the foothills that are more impressive. Much more impressive. Yeah. I would say much more impressive. So yeah. if you haven't had any experience with caves before, okay, it's worth trying. Uh, just be aware they won't allow you to take any footage uh, or pictures or anything like until that. you yep. get to a certain part of the cave and then, then they'll uh, let you take pictures of that area but other than that yeah no not really uh, there's also a, a pretty steep uh, stairway that goes up 
to the cave. Not so. very long, but it is pretty steep. So just keep that in mind as well. And then from there we go over to the, uh, we went to a, a beach resort area. Um, not probably what you're thinking of. Actually, there's a lot of different resorts that are like right next to each other. So they're crammed on the beach. So you literally have the area of your beach roped off that you are allowed to be in. Um, nothing is included, no drinks. We didn't have any drinks or food or anything included with it. It was literally just a beach area with a bunch of chairs and a bar. Yeah, and it's uh, just and it's outside of a strip mall area. Yeah, too. so there's a lot. So of, there's a lot of shopping. There's shopping there again, a lot of jewelry, uh, but also a lot of knickknacks and 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 great souvenir shops. Yeah, right that's where we too. got a lot of our souvenirs for yep. our folk. Yeah. We did so. Um, so it's, there is some nice shopping. Now keep in mind with this excursion that your the port of Charlotte Emily is pretty much right in the middle of the island. We're talking about Curacao. Oh, I moved on. <laughs> Williamstad is pretty much right in the middle of the island, uh, and goodness. Just moving back in time. Uh, I want to go catamaraning again. Um, and uh, the Hato Caves are on one side of the island, and the beach is on the opposite end of the island, so you're going to spend a lot of time in a bus as well. Um, Although, the cool part, part about that bus, though, is you go over this really high bridge that you can see from the ship. That's very cool. And then you, you can get some really great views of of the island it is but it, it is a lot of driving yeah so you spend probably about as much time in the bus as you do at each of the excursions so yeah uh, just be aware that uh, travel time is not short um, uh, but after the beach resort then we came back and we were able to spend some time and go walking into town and you know honestly after the excursion I think we would have just been more than happy just to take a hike into town and go yeah. walking around and eat and shop and yeah when we go back that's definitely what we'll be doing yeah, yeah. yep Next up is George George <laughs> Georgetown Grand Cayman. Say that five times. <laughs> and uh, there we did a dolphin uh, swim, and then we did the Stingray City. Stingray City, yes, a definite must. By the yeah. way, Stingray City is by far the coolest thing. You actually take a boat five miles out to sea, and then they drop you off on a sandbar. Uh, and it's like waist deep water. It's crazy cool. And then they swim, uh, the stingrays just swim all around you and they, they actually pick them up uh, so that you can actually pet it, give them a little pet, find out what they feel like. You can also give them a little sushi kiss. Sushi kisses. Sushi kisses, which is supposed to bring you good luck. Um, <laughs> so yes, we both kissed a stingray. Uh, it was very yeah. cool. Yeah. We got footage of that. You can see him uh, kiss a stingray. You don't get to see me kiss a stingray because I was wearing the GoPro right there. So when I went in for the kiss, it's going underwater. So I ended up editing that out. Yeah. Um, and the dolphin, uh, the dolphin excursion was fun. Um, I don't know if I would have if I enjoyed that as much as the one we did in Nassau. I like the amount of stuff we were able to do with the dolphins. That's true. But the space for for everything was very limited and next to other bays where people were doing the same thing. It was a little, yeah. it, felt a little distracting. Kind of, it, it felt kind of a little bit more farmy yeah. uh, to me as opposed to the one that we did in Nassau, which was, uh, it felt like more of a natural lagoon that you were in. And then while there were you know people right on the other side of the little walkway, they were kind of in their own little lagoon. So it's kind of like the difference between going to uh, a really well done amusement park and just a music county fair. Just, yeah, a county <laughs> fair. Yeah. Um, again, still had a great time though. Yeah. Don't, don't get us wrong. It was a lot of fun. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, they do take lots of pictures for you that you can purchase just the digitals or you can purchase um, uh, the other ones. But apparently, uh, didn't know, but right across the way, there's the sea turtle experience, which apparently is also included with your admission to because they're all kind of they're all kind of uh, located together, so unfortunately they don't give you enough time to do that. So you're only going to be able to do one or the other. Uh, they do, they sell them separately. Yeah, and don't quote us on that. We heard that, that from from another did that hear that group from... of people, and I don't know if they got it through the sh the excursion through the ship or if they actually booked on their own. So they may have actually gotten a uh, city or not a city, but a uh, ex uh, attraction pass type thing. Yeah. Very possible, very possible. Now, the port of Grand Cayman, um, what did you think? Eh, I mean, there, there was shopping, but not as much as where we've seen on other 
ports. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, Grand Cayman's quite as accessible. I think you're going to want to go away from the port to do something. Um, but it's still not not the not the worst port that we've been to by far. Right, not the worst part. Um, and the, you know the island is beautiful. The beaches are beautiful. Everything about it is beautiful. It's just wasn't our wasn't our favorite. Right. So that was about it. Yep. Then we get back to Tampa. I will say one thing, and I know we're talking really ports and excursions, but I think the one thing that I really kind of wanted to mention about this particular itinerary: perfect, perfect blend of shore days versus sea days. Uh, Eleven nights total. You have seven ports, including the port of Tampa, uh, where you embark and disembark, um, and four sea days. Uh, breaks it up so nicely. You leave Tampa, you go right to Key West, then you have a day at sea. Uh, then you do Dominican Republic, St. Thomas, and then you have a day at sea. You do Aruba, Curacao, day at sea. Grand Cayman, a day at sea before you come back. So I just thought that was just fantastic yeah. to have that yeah. perfect bunch. Nice. So you're not constantly... Poor, going, poor, going, poor, going, poor. going, 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 yeah, going. That, that gets that, draining. We actually, really actually had that downtime and I really enjoyed it. I would definitely do that itinerary again. Yeah. Just choosing different excursions, I think. Oh, yeah. And yeah. maybe not doing any excursion at all and just getting off the ship and walking around because most of them were just so accessible. Yeah, um, absolutely. Like, and just a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Let's see. And one more good thing to say about Tampa before we close this video out. You guys have an incredible... Incredible airport. Oh, yes. Out of all the airports airport. I've been to in the U.S., oh. and I haven't been to many in the U.S., but this this one was really nice. It was in par with some of the ones I've been to in Europe. Yeah. Really, really fabulous airport. Would recommend flying into Tampa and, and taking a cruise out of Tampa. I mean, you know, the airport's going to outweigh the, the port itself, but... The airport is just wonderful. It's wonderful. It's so it's so accessible. It's so easy. Um, you know, coolest thing I think we saw in the airport was in the the main area. The, it's it's weird because the Tampa airport is set up so differently. Because when you go into normally when you go into an airport, you walk in and then there's all the ticket counters and then you go through security and then they have all the cool stuff. At Tampa, they actually have you actually walk into the airport and they have all the cool stuff and then you go through security depending upon which terminal you're going down to or which you know which set of gates that you're going down to so you can actually go in there and spend your day with the shops and all of the restaurants and and all of that stuff and just hang out i think we had to sit there for what four or five hours yeah and it was not an uncomfortable experience at all and the, uh, right in the middle of it they had this huge huge flamingo with a mirrored roof that has kind of a watering ripple effect on it. So it looks like the flamingo's head is underwater and then you see the legs and that's all that it is of this. It's so cool. Yeah. So Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, wonderful airport. I definitely agree with it. I actually think we had a lot of fun at the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for you smokers, if anybody out there smokes, uh, it's also very nice because you don't have to go through security six times to go out and have a smoke and come back in. You just walk out and come back in and you're there so not until you actually have to go down to meet your where your flight is actually where your gate um you can actually hang out in the other area and it's uh a little more well a lot more convenient than having to pass through security five or six times yeah yeah all right wanderers that was our review of our excursions in the ports for our caribbean cruise on norwegian dawn hope you enjoyed the little enjoyed the video <laughs> uh if you did if you did, uh, make sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe, and please share. All right? See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.